What do you think it is that motivates soldiers to risk their lives? Many soldiers have tours of duty, they see the realities of war, and then they re-up. Why do they keep coming back? The biggest factor, as named by soldiers themselves, is their relationship to their unit. Unit camaraderie is the single largest motivator to continue military service, according to a RAND study of active military personnel. In joining active military service, people become part of a family. They become part of an elite group of people who are on a common mission, who protect each other, have each other's back. And that bond becomes very challenging for a lot of people to break. However, the thing that is probably the most potent situation to use to develop a feeling of unity with your client is dealing with something bad happening together as a team. People bond in adversity and discomfort. Remember, people that are at war together tend to develop some of the strongest bonds that humans are capable of developing from scratch. Adversity and discomfort make that possible. So in some ways, the best thing that can happen in your sales process is something bad that you and your client can deal with together. Some examples of those bad things that could be happening include supply chain issues, install errors, inspection delays. Most of the time when we hear about these things happening from a salesperson's point of view, it sounds terrible. We're being let down by somebody, something bad is happening. But I'm here to tell you that that's actually an opportunity for you as a salesperson to become more connected to your client. There are gonna be challenges in the solar process, including the sales process, but also the install and operation of the system process. And good customer service and great client satisfaction is all about what do you do when those challenges occur? Are you able to turn it into us versus a common enemy? Or do you end up clashing with your clients?